Did you know that you can actually turn Leonardo AI into a prompt generator itself? Turn Leonardo AI into a prompt generating engineer. And not only that, any prompt that Leonardo AI generates and makes for us here, you can use all of these prompts in any app. So Leonardo AI, Adobe Firefly, Midjourney, etc. And then we're going to see who did it better, Leonardo, Midjourney, or Adobe Firefly. So stick around for the whole video because we're going to start with a simple prompt and end with the ultra realistic, ultra deep. Detailed. Now you can get all of these prompts on my website. I'll put a link in my description to this page right here. Okay, so check it out. We're over here on Leonardo AI on the homepage. Here's what you want to do. So on the left hand side, you have user tools on the left hand side. Underneath that, just click AI image generation. Now check this out. I actually made this superhero with Leonardo AI's prompt generator, and it's pretty cool. But right now, you're gonna have two options. So right up here, you have image generation, where I'm hovering over right now. To the right of that is what we're gonna use today. Now this is called prompt generation. Click on prompt generation, and here's exactly where we're gonna begin. And now the cool thing about this is that, unlike image generation, the free plan only has 150 tokens a day. Whereas if you utilize the prompt generation, you're gonna have a thousand prompt generating ideas a day. So you can see on the right hand side, I still have 994 left today. That's because I've already used six. So you're gonna get a thousand prompt generating ideas a day. It's pretty awesome. So check this out. Now, what you wanna do is just exactly this. So you see underneath here, it just says enter a basic prompt idea well that's exactly what you're going to do and this is going to help people who are just lacking the creativity sometimes like myself but this is exactly what you're going to do so remember we're going to start simple and then our last prompt you want to stick around because we're going to get very detailed to see how awesome that this can really be carried out so in this case we're going to go ahead and do neon b now over here you have the number of prompts to generate you could choose two four six or eight so let's just go ahead and do four and then on the right hand side do you see this little light bulb just hit ideate and it's going to automatically come up with four prompts for a neon B. Okay, and so boom, just like that, four prompts. So we just typed in neon B and now we have four. A neon B buzzing around a vibrant technicolor meadow. Glowing neon bee hovering over a city skyline at night, flitting between a field of glowing neon flowers, and soaring through a star-filled sky. This is amazing. Let's try these prompts out. Let's just go ahead and say we want to choose number three. Clicking generate will automatically generate this image in Leonardo AI. And if you're not happy with it, you can also have the option to edit it. But let's go ahead and hit generate and watch this image unfold. Wow, look at that beauty. That's pretty impressive. That's nice. I like it. Now keep in mind, you can also get a completely different set of images by changing your fine-tuned model up in the left-hand corner. On the Try it with Mid Journey and Adobe Firefly. So here's exactly what you want to do. Here's the prompt that we just ideated and then generated an image for in Leonardo. All you have to do now is just click the copy prompt button. Come on over to Mid Journey and, and then just simply paste this prompt in and let Mid Journey go to work. So now while we're waiting on Mid Journey, let's hop on over here to Adobe Firefly and then paste that same exact prompt in here and then hit generate and then see what Firefly comes up with. Okay, boom. There's fireflies, very good as well. These are very nice. Now keep in mind here, also in Firefly, I can also get a completely different set of images by changing my content type. Right now on the right hand side, I'm on art. Just go ahead and select photo and you can get four completely different variations. Those are beautiful. I like these a lot. These are very nice. So now it looks like Mid Journey's done. Let's see exactly how they made this neon bee for us. So back over at Mid Journey and now there is Mid Journey's neon bee. Very good. These prompts worked very well across the board. So think of this as a game show called Who Did It Better? So we have Leonardo AI, we have Mid Journey, and then we have Adobe Firefly. Okay, so now let's take a look at my screen and you guys tell me who you guys think did it better. The first one right here, this is Leonardo AI's version right here. Leonardo made with Leonardo Diffusion. And now here we go with Mid Journey. Mid Journey, Leonardo, Adobe Firefly. So who do you guys think did it better? Nonetheless, all good, all impressed. This works pretty well across the board. Happy with the Neon B so far. Okay, now moving on. Now let's get a little bit more complex and add something I really like, a futuristic city. So now we're going to get a little bit more detail. So same thing. Over here where Neon B once was, paste in the new prompt. This time I'm adding Neon, delete Neon B, and now over here, here's our new prompt. I'm going to add a few more adjectives to see what I can come up with. Ultra realistic 8K photorealistic futuristic city. I'm going to keep it at four prompts and then go ahead and hit ideate and then see what I can come up with. Beautiful. Now here are four pretty good prompts. Sprawling 8K photorealistic metropolis, ultra realistic 8K cityscape. Let's go ahead and generate the first one and see what I can come up with. Same thing. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy this prompt and head back over to mid journey 
And now I'm gonna copy that same exact prompt in. And so now there is the one in Leonardo Diffusion. Very nice, I like that. Let's try one more thing and let's try a different fine tune model. And now I'm gonna try Dream Shaper 3.2 just to see hit generate and do a completely different model as well. Now this one looks very good too. So I have two completely different fine tune models and both look pretty realistic and very nice. Now let's head on over to Adobe Firefly and see what Firefly came up with. Wow, look at this one. Here's Adobe Firefly and I'm pretty impressed by these images right here. These all look very nice. I think I like this last one. That's pretty impressive, pretty good. And I can scroll through them all and see which ones Firefly made for me. Now like we did with Leon Let's go ahead and change it up from art to photo and see what it can come up with when I change the content type to photo. That's even more impressive. It's pretty realistic, pretty good. I like this futuristic city. Very nice, very nice. Oh wow, and now look at Mid Journeys. Mid Journeys is incredibly impressive. I think I have my vote right now for Mid Journey. This one looks fantastic. Who do you guys think did it better? Adobe Firefly, Leonardo AI, or Mid Journey? So my vote goes to Mid Journey number one. Adobe Firefly number two, and then Leonardo number three. So now for the last prompt, let's just try one more thing and let's go ahead and try to duplicate a very hyper-realistic portrait superhero. And now I paste it in photorealism, hyper-realism, 8K cinematic still portrait of a superhero. Let's hit ID8 and see what Leonardo generates as far as a prompt for us here now. Earlier today, when I did the same prompt, this is what Leonardo AI made for me. This is a very impressive superhero, Batman resembling type character, and so with this one, it did a very good job. Let's see if Leonardo AI can duplicate this and make something just as good this time. Oh wow, these all look pretty good. Let's go ahead and just try the first one, hit generate. Okay, so check this out. Here is what Leonardo AI made for me. Now, I did a few different prompts just to get a few different variations, and so, here is the very first one it made for me of a superhero. And then I tried a different fine tune model and then I got this version on the left hand side. And then I went with this one and then this one. And none of these resembled the Batman one I wanted. So then at the very end, I ended up getting this one right here. And all I did here was change my prompt and added the words resembling Batman at the end. I mean, I think this one did a pretty good job. I like this one resembling Batman. I'll download this one. Now let's hop over to Adobe Firefly. Unfortunately, this one didn't do quite as good of a job in my opinion. It looks good, but it doesn't look as good as Leonardo's in my opinion. Okay, so here is the first set that Mid Journey made for us without the Batman tag. Now here is the second set it made for us. This is where it has with stars in the background. This one looks very good and creative, realistic. I like this one too. And now we're up with the one that I said resembling Batman, and this one did a fairly good job as well. But all in all, if I had to pick one, I think this round is going to go to Leonardo AI, especially when I utilize the resembling Batman adjective at the very end. This did a very good job. So, who do you guys think did this better? This is an extremely convenient and unique feature that Leonardo AI has. Now you could see looking at all three of these apps and prompts that they work so well across the board. Now in each case, in each scenario, some apps outperformed over the other ones. Thank you so much for watching this video and please make sure you hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all of these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time.